the most asked question how long will these candles burn so if you happen to run out of oil and the candle goes out all you have to do is take a tweezer and carefully pick the wick up next question that you all have asked is what kind of plastic i use quick disclaimer if you're making diy water candles at home make sure you are extremely cautious because you are going to be using flame also if you're younger have an adult supervise you all the time. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today you're watching a second part of one of the most watched videos on my channel, the DIY water candles video. And you guys have left thousands of comments on that video. Most of the comments are about your favorite candles and how happy they made you. Reading those comments made me super happy. Secondly, the comments were about how loud the music was. I'm sorry about that. I've been improving from then onwards. Thirdly, you had a lot of questions about the video. So in this video, I'll be trying to answer as many questions as I possibly can and hopefully clear some of your doubts. But before we get on to this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if this video is something that you were looking forward for, hit that like button too. And also, I have a cute little husky puppy, Leah, and she is all over my channel. I will have a few of her videos linked down below and as well as on the iCard. And I'm also a commercial pilot, did I tell you? Yes, and I have videos about that too. You can find that again in the iCard and in the description. Now that being said, let's get on to the video. Come on! The most asked question, how long will these candles burn? This is a question that so many of you have asked. So I definitely have to answer that question first. The small candles that you saw in the video, the first one, the basic candle and the one with the beads, the red beads, those two candles burn for over two hours, close to three hours. So these candles basically follow the principles of diyas or lamps that we use in India. The more the oil, the longer the candle will burn. Same as the more the oil, the longer the diyas will burn. When your candle goes out, all you have to do is carefully use a tweezer to pick up the wick, add in some more oil, put the wick back in and light the candle back up. And that is all you need to do and you will be good for a few more hours. Next question that I've seen a lot is what kind of oil I've used. The oil I used is lamp oil, the one that we use for diaz again. You can use any kind of cooking oil, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, all of these you can use. They'll be in different shades of color though, so as long as you're okay with that, you're good to go. And please do not use petrol. I saw somebody in the comments talking about using petrol. Please don't do that. A lot of you guys have asked me about alternative containers. What other containers you can use to make these cans? The first two glasses that I've used are shot glasses. The one you drink alcohol in. So those are pretty good. They stand heat and they're good to use. Any kind of alcohol glass, beverage glass should be good and do not use plastic glasses. I've got a lot of questions about using plastic containers for this. Do not use plastic containers because you're keeping it so close to a flame, it might melt. Do not use plastic. As long as it is glass, you are good to go. Another alternative is mason jars. These hold heat pretty well. They don't break, they don't crack, so that's pretty good too. I got a few comments from you guys who were concerned about their plastic sinking. It is okay for your plastic to sink in the oil. As long as it doesn't drown in the water, you are good. If your plastic is sinking into the oil and stays at the oil-water interface right in between the oil and water, it's fine. It's totally fine. Your candle is good to go. But if it's drowning into the water, that's when you need to be a little more worried. This is probably because your plastic is too heavy. Just change the plastic and use a new one. You should be good to go. Have you been liking this video so far? Just a reminder for you to hit that like button and let me know that you're liking it. And let's get back to the video. A lot of you have been asking me what it smells like. A lot of you have asked me about what the candles smell like. 
using cooking oil, you were concerned about how it'll smell. The thing is, it doesn't smell much. It doesn't smell of anything, honestly. If you've ever used a Dia before, I'm pretty sure you all know that it doesn't smell much. So it's pretty much the same because we're using the same principle. Oil is burning. It doesn't really smell that much. The purpose of the, oh, the purpose of this candle is to make visual art in the form of a candle. It's water and fire on top of it. That is the most interesting part about this candle. This was not meant to create fresh smells, but it also doesn't smell like anything, if you guys wanted to know. One more question that was all over the comments was about adding essential oil to the candle to make it smell good. Here's the thing, some essential oils may work, some may not. So make sure that you're mixing your essential oil with your oil that you're going to use beforehand before you pour it into the jar. If they're mixing well and the consistency is good, go ahead and pour it in. If they're not mixing, they don't work. You'll have to either change your oil or your essential oil for it to work. And once you pour it in, try lighting up your candle and if it doesn't burn well, it's not working. If it does, then you're good to go. If it's not burning well, if the flame is flickery or if you're hearing pop sounds, then it is not working. Throw away that oil and try adding regular oil and skip the essential oil. You guys also wanted to know if the plastic circle will burn. This is very unlikely because as the oil gets used up, the flame will go out. Before the flame can reach the plastic circle and burn it off, the flame will go out. So, it is very unlikely that the plastic circle will burn. Even if it does, there is water right underneath it, so you don't really have to worry much. Next question that you all have asked is what kind of plastic I use. I have used some wrapping paper. This was the wrapping paper that my school gave me to wrap my books in. That is what I cut out and used for this DIY. You can also use OHP sheets, any kind of transparent plastic. The only reason we're looking for transparency is to make it look a little nicer visually. That is the only reason. If you have anything that is not so transparent, that's good too. Any kind of plastic is okay, even if it's not so transparent. All it has to do is not be too light so that the wick can stay upright on the plastic and not be too heavy that it drowns in the water. Somebody asked me if I could use steel containers for this DIY. The problem here is we made this whole DIY for the visual attraction of it. It is very pretty to look at because we are adding elements into it and you can look at it and enjoy it. As soon as you use a steel glass and something opaque in its place, you won't be able to see what is happening inside it and you won't be able to show off your masterpiece. That is the only reason why we're not using steel here. Instead, glass is just letting us visually enjoy your masterpiece. So. Don't use steel glass, it's not harmful, it's just not serving our purpose here. You guys also asked me if you can store this water candle for a few days and then use it later. Yes, you can do this, but make sure you pick up the wick very carefully with a tweezer again, just so you don't burn yourself, and discard the water and oil. Leave all your elements inside it, in the dry glass, and then whenever you're ready to use it again, add the water, add the oil, drop the wick in and light it up. So this way you're not ruining your products and it's not going bad either. And if you want to gift it, you can do the same thing again. Put all your elements into your glass jar, add a tiny little bow and a note on it saying just add water, oil and give them the candle wick taped to the plastic which they can insert and light it up whenever they're ready. This way you'll make a cute little gift too and it won't go bad and there is no problem of spilling it while you're gifting it to your friend or family member or whoever it is that you want to give it to. And that is all for today's video. I hope I answered most of your questions. These are all the questions I could get in within this video. If you want a part two, let me know. And if your questions are answered and if this made things more clear and easier for you, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, 
because we are going to be meeting a lot more with a lot new videos. That being said, check out Leah's videos on the iCard and in the description below and my pilot life again in the iCard and in the description and in the end cards. I will see you in my next video. Until then, signing off, letting go. Bye!